so hey guys welcome back to another video and today we've got some new fish here first i'll show you how the day went so you'll see that and then come back yeah today's day it started off very cloudy and i thought maybe it would rain and so we would not go but then it started clearing up and then we went we're gonna get new fish today and this is the pet shop yeah, there are a lot of fish i think they just got a shipment and here are some eels those are freshwater eels by the way when they have enough space for them these are some goldfish and they got plants too and koi and all sorts of tetras yeah they were they were doing their water changes don't worry guys these fish are just going to be here for some time and these were the feeder fish so he just scooped up a lot and then started bagging them up the other fish we could not film because they didn't belong now that y'all are up to date with all of that let's see the fish that we got okay here we just have some blood worms focus yeah those are blood worms look at them wigglers and then over here we got some feeder fish then we had also got some amana shrimp but i already put them in the pond because they were not doing too well and i didn't want to stress them out and in this bag i know you cannot see but we have got some we've got actually two mollies and one sword tail so we'll take them out and here we've got something special this my friends is a prawn shark. They're pretty hard to come by in the area that I'm from. So we got him as soon as we saw him. Yeah. Yeah, they'll pretty much eat anything that fits in their mouth. So he should do well with these guys over here. That is the knife fish and the shovel nose. And there's one of the Amana shrimp that I was talking about. He's just in the small little recovery tank over here so that he gets better. He got some good pattern on him. Him or her. I don't know. Now coming back. So we'll take a few of the blood worms. Oh, there's a big guy in this. Let's see if we can see them. That looks like an earthworm, not a blood worm. Yeah, whatever it is. Let's feed these guys over here. Here we have a container and this will put up blood worms. And I'll just open the packet and just pour it out. And all the blood worms have come into the container. We're just going to open one packet for now. Uh, look at them. Biggling around. Gross. Uh, let's feed this to the fish and there we have a female beta and we just drop some blood worms oh she sees them boom gone devoured she seems to be enjoying them let's see how the other fish react Somewhere here down we got a knife fish. Let's see where he's at. Uh, oh, okay, there he is. Let's put some blood worms right over here. And let's see if he takes a bite or two. Oh, the mollies, the mollies. Yeah, I think. That was not meant for you. You already got fed today. Yeah, we have all female mollies if you have just noticed. And here's the shovel nose. Just chilling over here. Let's put some for him. Eh, he doesn't want. He was like, nope, not today. Oh, and here was one of the shrimp that I was talking about. We bought two shrimp. So one is outside and one is in the pond. The shovel nose is not going to eat. No, you're not gonna eat. Oh, the knife fish is taking a bite. Let's see. Let's see. 
Whoa, he got, he got one. Okay, so this is the first time I've seen the knife fish eat on camera. Actually, the first time I've seen him eat, actually. And there he is. And all of these blood worms have got rolled up into the moss. That's not good. The Corridorus might clean him up. Now that all the fish are fed and we didn't disturb them much, the shovel nose has actually started eating now. I think they were camera shy. Just let's see if he eats over here. No, he doesn't want to be on camera apparently. He just gone. Let's put some more over there. Yeah, look at these. Look at them just wiggling around on my finger. Yeah, that's gross. Let's put them down over there in the corner. Yeah, look at them fall. Yep, they'll eat it eventually. Now, let's get this guy up. He's becoming restless by the minute. So, I don't have a net. It actually tore because one of the fishes they decided to. So, I'll put the water in this and scoop him out and put him there. So difficult to do with one hand. I'll pause. And there we go. Let's untie this. Come on, man. Whoa. Ouch. Uh, just a minute. And here we are. And there goes the prune shark into the thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Ah, he's kicking up all the debris. Got another angle of him. And he looks to be doing quite well. Oh, he's a lot smaller than I thought, though. Ah, all this debris just kicked up over here. It's irritating. And the knife fish is like, whoa, another big guy. The knife fish is out and about. The porn shark is just exploring this part of the pond. And he's actually quite small, so he shouldn't harm the mollies, I guess. But he's not going to stay the same, and the prone sharks, they grow really fast. So we'll have to get the mollies out of there as soon as possible. And here's the shovel nose, chilling in the corner over here. I want to see how the shovel nose reacts to the prune shark. He might get spooked, because he's been alone over here for quite some time with other... I mean, the only big fish over here was the knife fish. Whoa, he got spooked. He got spooked. <laughs> he actually jumped out over there. <laughs> and there's a lot of debris that's been kicked up. And the visibility has become poor. Actually, the water is clear. But then all of this debris is in the moss. Let's feed him. Let's see if they eat. Put some blood worms in the corner over there. Yeah, the mollies just got right through them. The corridor is just sitting on his blood worms. Does he eat? Does he eat? He's just going round and round. Oh! He's eating. Oh, he's eating. That's a good sign. He's a healthy fish. Yeah, he's eating. This side, boy. Come here, here. No, come a little bit closer. Whoa, he got that. He's just devouring these blood bulbs. Become more. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eat, eat, eat. Eat, yes, eat. There's a lot over here. Stop picking them one by one. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's just going round and round. I have no idea why he's doing that. It's quite a big pond. No, it's not small. It's quite big. He's literally the size of the biggest molly in the pond. And mollies are pretty small fish. You guys, you guys know, right? Yeah, that's a molly over there. They're pretty small. The biggest one will be like two inches. He's two and a half, I think. So there's a lot of space for him. Yeah, now that you have seen him get released, he's just bobbing around over there. There's the knife fish, here's the shovel nose, and there he is again. There. So let's see how it turns out over the days. These guys are going to a separate holding tank, and these mollies probably will go in here. Just look at these guys, it looks yuck. My god. Well, if you're wondering what's gonna happen to them, they're gonna be frozen and used for later. Well, that's it for today, guys. These guys are pretty much fed. These ones, they're gonna be frozen. And these ones will go over there. We need a new tank because that fellow in the corner over there was just the new guy. He's gonna devour everything. And they get big very fast. So let's see what happens over that course of time. The knife fish is just bombed out by this guy just moving around. So let's see how that unfolds. The shovel nose actually got spooked of the prune shark. That was something different. Let's see how everybody fares in this. Oh yeah, the tank is coming. We just don't have the space to keep a tank. Maybe this whole area will keep one nice big tank. Let's see. Plus the turtle tank is also there. We might end up putting the turtle and these guys together in the end. Let's see how that unfolds. Well, for now, this is it, boys. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.